Hi everyone, welcome to uh, another video made by me. This way it's gonna be, let's say, in a negative tone. I've decided to create uh, a list of several very useless tweaks, in my opinion. So don't get me wrong, there are no counting for tastes, but this is just my opinion. If you like them, I will put the uh, repos addresses below so you can you can install them if you if you want. But these tweaks are compatible with iOS 13 and they're useless, at least according to me. Why do I say this? Well, for me, as an iPhone user, heavy iPhone user for, for, for more than 10 years now, uh, I have three things in mind when I uh, jailbreak my iPhone. The first thing is reliability and stability of the system throughout the usage. The second thing is battery life. And the third thing is customization. So these three things I need to balance when I jailbreak my iPhone. So I suggest you think in these, in these uh, coordinates as well. So reliability, battery, customization. Okay, I don't want to customize my phone enough on the expense of reliability or the battery life. So whenever I see a tweak which crashes my device too, much, too many times or it affects battery life significantly, I try, not to, I try to avoid it. Uh, another thing which you need to know is when you jailbreak your device, if you have too many tweaks installed, your reliability and battery life will tend to decrease. So even if some of the tweaks are not using your battery life that much, still if you have 12, 20 tweaks and you install 21st tweak, this might reduce your battery life significantly. So let's begin with the list of useless tweaks. Tweak number one. Tweak number one is called simple passcode buttons. So the tweak does the following thing. So when you lock your device and you want to unlock it, so you swipe up and you get this. For God's sakes, why would I want to do this? I don't, I want to see the numbers. I want to see the letters. However, for those of you who like this simplicity, go ahead and install it. But I do not, I do not recommend. The second tweak I find extremely useless is double cut. Maybe it was useful once before we had uh, new updates of the iOS, but currently for me, it's very useless. What does it do? It gives you an option to install your predefined email address by double tapping the add key or the monkey key. So you double tap monkey and inserts your desired email address. However, if you have more than one email address, I think it can be a problem. So. Why, why is it useless? Now, as you can see, it supports iOS 13. Useless, it is useless because in settings, in general, and within the keyboard, you have the option text replacement right here, where you can put any shortcut for anything you want to have. So I have multiple email addresses, I have multiple greetings, I have uh, my home address, postal address, etc. Everything in, in uh, two or three clicks. So that's why double cut currently is out of the question for me. Okay guys, let's continue with useless tweaks. According to me, the third useless tweak is called pool to respring. What it does, you go to settings and you pull down your settings, the whole settings down and it will respring your device. Now, why do I call it useless? First, because you can, you know, do it by mistake and you can respring your device multiple times during the day, which happened to me. That's why I think it's, uh, it's not risky because it's not rebooting your device, but it's respringing device, which is kind of annoying. So I would suggest something different, like for example, power module. When you click here, it will give you the option and it will warn you whether you want to, to respring. So you can confirm. If you didn't mean it, then you can just uh, click cancel. So that's tweak number three. The next week, some people like it. I don't, one bit. It's clean home screen. As you can see, my home screen is now clean. How? It doesn't have any information. It doesn't have the, the uh, dock background, although you cannot see it. It doesn't have icon names. It doesn't have icon badges. And it removed the uh, status bar. Of course, you can customize this tweak from the settings and select which, which options you don't want to appear here. But, and you see, there is another thing which makes it buggy. So on the second page, 
I have the tweak, the uh, app's names. When I go back, I don't, and then when I come back, they disappear. So it's kind of annoying. It's not really, you know, fully, fully updated for iOS 13. And without the names, I, you know, I, I, I'm an older guy. I, I really need to see what I'm clicking. So I want to have those names under my icons. So useless. Week number five on my list of useless tweaks. So don't install because it doesn't add any value. It might crash your device if you have too many tweaks. So those tweaks which don't add value, but the risk of uh, you know crashing your device, and any tweak by the way can crash your device if you have too many of them. So if you really don't see the usage, the, the use of it, I wouldn't recommend. So this one is called sleepy time. What does it do? I mean, you go to your clock, you go to your alarm clock, and then you hear, you can see, okay, I'm an early riser, so I get up at, at 5 a.m. every morning. So here, the tweak actually gives you the time, how much time is left until you wake up. Now, who needs this? Am I going to check? I mean, I know when I wake up, when I go to bed. So why, why do I have to install this little tweak? Completely useless. The next tweak is called Clean Player. And by the way, there are two of them. So I'm, uh, mean, I'm, I'm showing this one, which has a, a, an empty space between clean, the word clean and the word player. There is another one which, which doesn't have the space. So the clean player tweak, I'm not gonna install it because I don't like it, I've tried it and, and, and it's, you know, it's uh, bugging me. Uh, it removes some of the functionalities of the player on your home screen. So as you can see, you can remove the timestamps from current playing song, airplane icon, duration slider. I, I, come on, I, I need these things. I need to know, I, I, I can put it uh, on my different Bluetooth device if I wanna play, so I need this airplay icon. I need to know how long is left till the end of the song. So please, uh, you know, don't, don't install this, because otherwise, why, why would I have the clean, why would I have the player on my home screen at all if I don't ha have these basic functions? So again, uh, useless. Tweak number seven on my useless list. Can't wait to deinstall it after this video. So it's called Auto Home uh, Auto Hide Home Bar X. By the way, what's with the names? It can be simpler. Anyway, what, what does it do? Well, it hides automatically your home bar, home bar that you have on iPhone 10 or iPhone X, as some people call it. So as you can see, there is not this bar. There, there used to be a bar here. So whichever app you open, there, there is no bar here, as you can see. So it disappears. Whoever notices this, how come it bothers you to have it? Actually, it's a good thing to have it. So it, it brings my attention that I can swipe up. I know I can, but I know it's a nice, nice touch to it. So I don't recommend this tweak. It's, it's highly, you know, highly useless, which is auto, home, uh, auto hide home bar X. The next week, do you see something interesting or something strange on, on the Cydia uh, app? Well, I do. Actually, I, I don't see something that should be there, which are the names of these separate tabs. This is what this tweak does. It's called Clean Tabs 13, which is updated for the iOS 13, as the name suggests it. So it removes all those names of different tabs. I need them. I wouldn't know, especially in the apps where I'm not, you know, that really used to them. Like, uh, I don't know, when I go to the app store and <clears throat> it loads the whole app, there you don't have anything. Okay, we can get by the, guess by the picture, but I'm used to having those things. Of course, if there are people, like maybe some other people who think that this is a clutter that needs to be cleaned, fine, install this tweak. But I think it's highly, highly uh, useless and I strongly recommend not installing it. That's it. The last tweak I want to show you. And this guy, this tweak, is a champion tweak, tweak of being useless. And I'm really pissed off at it because I don't really see the purpose. Okay, somebody likes to, to, to have some cool features. So this is really an example of a weird customization. And some people might, you know, have uh, uh, want to do it and want to feel fancy but again it's useless and uh, for me it takes few times to get it working which is another which adds uh, uh, more to being useless I, I i don't know if you can feel my stress out but it's really it's really ridiculous it's called tempus romano so what is what does it mean so the, the, the time is shown in the roman numerals 
Okay, I know Roman numerals. I'm fine with that, I understand that. But look. Huh. What is this? Okay, I have to get. Uh huh, this is 7, uh, 33. Okay, so 7, 33. Great. So I need how, what, I need like 10 seconds to, to recognize the, the time. 7, 30, 34. But pay attention also that, that many times Roman numerals are used to show the, the order of numbers. So 1 is not 1 sometimes. Many, in many cases, it's just 1st. So this is 7th and 34th which again is very useless why, why do you why do why do you guys do this why do you waste your talent on something so useless anyway thank you for watching i hope you like the video give it a thumbs up give it a comment and uh you know i'm gonna go, uh, chill now and have my morning coffee